Kenny Drugs back at it trying to make me a girl. <laughs> What's up? My name is Liz from Kiss FM, and Kenny Drugs is so kind with trying to teach me how to do a beauty with their itty bitty beauty committee. And can I tell you, they hooked a girl up. This month they sent me this huge bag of stuff, and one, fantastic, two, intimidating. Looking through all the stuff, I said there's a lot going on here. I need to figure out what I want to use and what I want to do and how I want to do it. So I came up with my own challenge, the Kitty Beauty Challenge, where for the entire week, I'm gonna try my best to use these products and look my best and see how easy it is to do. And can I tell you, it was actually a lot of fun. There were certain days that were an ultimate no. Uh, there were certain products I just couldn't understand, but it happens to the best of us. Not only does Kitty Drugs carry all of these products, but Kitty Drugs also does a fantastic job of trying to teach you how to use those products. And they share videos on their Facebook, which I'll, I'll link below because trust me, there are some things in here that I needed some help on. So I, w I was thankful for those videos. <sighs> Here's the rest of the week. So tonight is the Luke Bryan concert and I'm putting the Kenny Drugs to the test. I am trying to keep this makeup look on for the entire night, which is going to be hard because one, it's humid, it's hot, and I'm gonna sweat. It is what it is. I primed my face with the Neutrogena Shine Control. Super pumped to try that out because I've actually never used a primer before because I feel like I'm just not, not there makeup wise. And can I say, I have never met a liquid eyeliner that I have like, liked before usually it makes me get really angry and I try not to use it but girl please L'Oreal infallible black velvet liquid eyeliner is no joke also going to do the Revlon color stay translucent powder to try and also make sure that this stuff stays on for the next 16 hours is what it says but just like Luke Bryan edition <laughs> So we will see how this holds up and how I do as I continue this week of being beautiful kind of deal. How awful does that sound? The week, <laughs> the Kinney Drugs Challenge of trying to use products that I didn't ever think I could actually use. Luke Bryan is getting tested out tonight. It was very hot at this concert, like very hot. So this is what managed to stay on. And I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. And I never thought I could be impressed by my makeup, so. Feeling good, feeling good. Welcome to another day of the beauty challenge. Um, kind of loving how, ooh, how my face looks compared to what it started with because it was not this way when I first put it on. Like, it's super easy to do these makeup looks and feel good and morning show. The morning is not my friend when I have to get ready. So, uh, this is, this is easy, and it's all like kitties. What? Morning, morning, morning. It's another morning. So I let my hair naturally um, dry. Still a little bit wet from last night's shower. So I'm gonna tr use the Beach Trippin' Got To Be You Salt Infusion Waving Spray and see how this works. Cause you're supposed to use it on hair that's either dry or damp. We'll see if I can get that beach wave look for Oh, all of my meetings today were prepared. Oh, oh, just spray myself in the eye. Oh boy. Give the girl the beauty products, but doesn't mean it always means she can use it. Ooh. We'll see how it dries. We'll come back. Let's play around with some makeup. I'm actually not running that late today, which is why I can do this. We're gonna start with some primer today. Neutrogena Shine Control Primer to be exact. I've never used primers before. And I have to say, I now see why people use primers, because it actually works really well. Um, so the two products I got for like my foundation for my face have been the Garnier BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector. This is like immediate transformation. My face feels and looks fantastic. And the Alme Healthy Glow, which Kenny actually put up like a beauty tutorial on how to use this, which came in clutch. Um, I've noticed that my face does look a little bit more glowier. Today we are going to use the BB cream, just because I think that this thing is like magic. Kenny has now supplied me with like half of all of my makeup, if we're being 100% honest. <laughs> and these eyeshadow palettes that they gave me are like clutch because they come with every color I could want. I don't really do anything too crazy, but these All Natural Wet n Wild um, 
eyeshadows. Give me the opportunity to be crazy with the darker colors, but I typically stick with the golds and the sparkles because that's just the kind of girl I am. And the Infallible Black Velvet Liquid Eyeliner. I was intimidated at first. So the tip looks not like something user friendly, um, but can I tell you, it's quite the opposite. The color and everything, it goes on like velvet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It gave me these, this e.l.f. blush brush, which, um, I feel like a total beauty blogger now. I have brushes. But it's to go with this Fit Me Maybelline New York blush in light rose. So we're going to put some of this on. Add a little color into the complexion. We're going to finish it up with some translucent powder to make sure that it all stays from Revlon Color Stay. And it's just that easy. And just like that, Kenny Drugs has helped me get ready this lovely morning. I've got my beach waves in. I have my makeup on. But I gotta tell you, I'm feeling good. Shout out to Kitty Drugs. All of the products I used can be found at Kitty Drugs, which is the best freaking part. The big reasons why I hate putting on a lot of makeup throughout the day is because going to bed and taking all of it off is such a chore. And I think it's because I've never used an actual makeup wipe before. I think I've always tried to take off my makeup with just water, which my life has been changed because these Premier Value Facial Cleansing and Makeup Remover Towelettes, I was iffy at first because I was like, how can this actually wash my face? This thing grabs this makeup off my skin like a Swiffer with dust on the floor. Like, I have never witnessed anything like this before and it's vitamin E enriched, pre-moistened, deep cleans pores, quickly and easily removes makeup and 100% agree, 100%, 100%, 100% because literally every day this week this has been my savior. Back at it, another day, Kenny challenge, woo! I am a morning show co-host and that means that I basically depend on dry shampoo. If there is something in the beauty world that I know I can't live without, it's dry shampoo and mascara. So, uh, Not Your Mother's is actually my go-to brand, which Kitty Drug sells. <sighs> Why they gotta make it so easy, huh? So we're gonna just do it up a little bit. Huh? No, it's a mess, but it, it, it will get there, I promise. Why is dry shampoo the best thing in the entire world? What's we got in here? The Con Air Bun Maker was probably one of the most frustrating things. Ooh, was one of the most frustrating things because I have a lot of hair, so pinning it back for me was kind of hard, but I gotta tell you, the outcome was pretty good. Con Air All-in-One Topsy Tail basically just does your little flip of your hair. This is cool. I was a big fan of this. This is probably something I could easily do every morning leading into the Christmas holiday. The All May Healthy Glow Makeup Gradual Self Tan in 200 was one of the cooler products. I was nervous about this because self tanner, you know, I tend to always make it so that I'm orange. No one wants to be orange. So um, the All May Healthy Glow, this was actually a really healthy glow and it was very gradual as I used it over the week and I was a fan and my face, I feel like, is a fan and You'll enjoy it if you want to make sure you're still tan during the winter months. This is going to come in handy during the winter, can I tell you. The Fit Me Blush um, by Maybelline 102 Light Rose. Such a pretty color, such a pretty shimmer, and I think that because I don't use blushes a lot, this one is not as pigmented, it's just more like the shimmery look, and it's exactly what I prefer. So this was, this was pretty cool. Got to be beach trippin'. This right here, it's going to help all of my mor mornings when I don't want to do my hair. This is actually supposed to be for dry or semi-damp hair, which is perfect. And if I don't want to style it that day, this is this is what it's gonna be. I'm gonna be using this a ton. The Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. This kept my makeup on for an abundant amount of time, and I didn't even think that it was possible. I always thought the primer was just a thing that people make you buy. Listen, it's worth it, it helps, and it's definitely good. So, and this Neutrogena one, worked wonders for me, even through a Luke Bryan concert. That's pretty legit. And then the All May Color and Care Liquid Lip Balm in 
blooming. These are kind of cool because I don't wear dark lipstick ever. The fact that I can put these on and they're not too heavy, I'm a big, big fan. And one of the last things they sent me, which I almost opened up while around all my coworkers, which would be awkward, are these Moxie uh, tampons. And the coolest part about the tampons is the fact that they come with a little tin carrying case. Shop. It's such a good idea. They don't get crushed, they don't get ruined, they don't get like poked and prodded and all that stuff in the bottom of your purse. If you're looking to switch it up, I would try out this Moxie brand. And I'm not going to show you me vlogging the use of those because that's a little too, too much information. TMI. But yeah, thank you so much to Kitty Drugs for having me and sending me these products. If you want to hear about any of these products, about anything I put on my face, <laughs> it's all coming from Kenny Drugs. You can check out my video I did last time of the one of me actually putting on a full face of makeup. Thank you, Kenny Drugs. Bye!